There's a guy online called Gary Vaynerchuk and he says document, don't create. At first I didn't get it, but now I get it. Quick recap of who Gary Vaynerchuk is. His father had a, a liquor store in New York and he took it from a small store to a bigger store, selling wine, doing a, a YouTube uh, vlog uh, video show several years back and promoting the, the wine and promoting the store and built into a big business. Now he's got Vayner Media and stuff. I don't follow gurus, I don't follow, you know, all these sort of motivational people. Most of them are full of shit, you know, selling books, selling everything else, selling shit. Um, I'm not really interested in following people like that. I follow people that just share their experiences. But he's one of the, the real deal, you know, people that you can back his shit up. He's pretty inspirational. Whether you're in the creative industries, where you're in business, whatever, um, you know, you're gonna get something for you, Gary Vaynerchuk. He's one of those guys that a lot of people will love or you hate because he's loud and he talks a lot, you know. But he's got passion and he's real and, you know, and a lot of people don't like him because he's real, because people don't like real people a lot of times. They don't want to hear the truth. So don't follow Gary Vaynerchuk if you want to hear the truth, you know. Follow other people if you want to hear bullshit. Follow fucking Kim Kardashian, you know. Anyway, my point is, he says about document, don't create. And at first, it's an eject reaction to hear that when you're a creator. And he was talking about Kim Kardashians and reality shows and, you know, YouTubers and, you know, in a world where we, it's all reality based and people follow people that are not that inspirational and they don't create things. But, you know, over time, I get it. I get exactly what he's talking about. You know, if you think years ago when people were... It's the old thing about being an artist and being undiscovered, being a painter, and all those painters that died, you know, undiscovered, and their paintings are sold for millions years later, you know, but they couldn't fucking give them away, you know. Um, they were painting just to try and get a meal, you know. And so they weren't, but they weren't painting for, um, for a market. They weren't making their art for a market. They weren't making their art for their fans or for an audience. That's a very 20th century sort of, this is, it's a very today thing because, uh, you know, the movie business is a package of business where they make products for people to consume for a demographic and a market. You know, I'm not an artist, I call myself creative. But back then it's like creativity was made for self-expression. It was made just to get the blackness out of your fucking head and to communicate and, you know, and I very much believe in that. And it's that today, you know, it's no much different today. Even though with the internet, we've got this delusional thing that because we see all these people, we've got all these tools, we've got access to this and we get this audience. And most of it is bullshit because, um, an example, you know, I, I, once in a while I'll discover YouTubers and I look at the channel and they've got a million subscribers and they've got five million subscribers or 20 million fucking subscribers and I've never heard of them, you know. And that's just because I'm an old fart, you know, and <laughs> it's mainly young people. But when you look at it that way, you go, if somebody's got 10 million subscribers and I've never heard of them, I am definitely not on the fucking radar. Nobody's heard of me, but we get this little delusional thing in social media because we're out there that people know us and nobody fucking knows us. But the point I'm trying to make is when you're creating your work, whether you're creating a film or a web series or a little business or an artist, music, whatever, I, for me personally, I don't create it for anybody at this level. You know, at this level, anything I'm creating is just for me because I know the, rea the harsh reality is that like those painters back then, nobody's gonna fucking see it, you know? And I, I don't mean that, I mean some people will see it, but in terms of numbers, in terms of making a creative living at it at this level, nobody has seen it. So, you know, rather than try to please everybody, I try to please myself. I make it for more therapeutic purposes, to get it out there, to practice, to learn a story I wanna tell. I make it purely for me. And because I make it purely for me, I make it as cost effective as possible with no budgets. You know, don't spend money on it because you can't, because, you know, Hollywood spend millions on films, so you can never even match it, you can never compete. So I, I, any work that I do, whether it's shorts, a serial, a film, I'm making it for myself, and that's fine. You'll never be fucking known like those people. You'll never be discovered. You'll always be small, it'll be a small audience, probably fucking starve if you think that you're gonna make money off your creativity and make films. Um, come back to document, to create, and I think it's important in today's world of social media where being honest about it, nobody's waiting to see my series or waiting to see my films. I'm not waiting to see other people's films either. You know, with all this Netflix and Amazon and an abundance of movies and content, nobody's really at the time to see a lot of stuff with names in it, never mind Mr. Nobody's stuff. It's just a fact and it's just the reality of people watching this. They know they don't want to fucking see the content, really. 
They want to see people, they want to see people documenting, they want to see the process, they want to see the struggle, the ups and the downs, they want to see your story. So documenting is probably really important or you're going to dial at one of those obscure painters. But if you can document your story and you can share your story and it's an ambitious story, I don't mean just document your life. I had something from my fucking lunch today or I'm, you know, I'm doing this and here's a picture of this shit. I'm talking about something that's interesting. I'm talking about somebody that's gone for high stakes poker in their life. I'm talking about the extremes of life. If you document your process and tell your story, then I think more people are inclined. And you can create that almost on a daily basis. You can't create a piece of content like a film on a daily basis or a work of art on a daily basis or a Michelangelo on a daily basis. You know, that takes fucking eight years to do a painting. Just like my little Crime Lord series of films, I'll take 10, eight years to create. And then, then people might notice it one day. But until then, I think when you're documenting your life and sharing your passion and sharing your process, you can document that almost on a daily basis if you want or a weekly basis, depending on your work ethic and how hard you work. And I think that's where I get it, and that's the whole point of Vaynerchuk's comment about documenting V's creation, you know. Create, yeah, but create is for the long term for yourself. And then it's very personal, but one day if something does build that's a creative process, whether you're doing a painting over eight years or whether you're doing a series or a film or whatever, or a whole, your whole sort of legacy, that is a long term basis that nobody will really notice, I don't think, until a long period of time. And that's what I'm trying to work at, you know, I've, I've, you know, even though I'm on social media a lot, is because I've took a step back. I don't want to just retweet any old fucking shit. I'm trying to, you know, rate what content can I make? Can I make these videos? Can I make podcasts? Can I make stuff like that? I'm trying to get an infrastructure to do that more efficient and faster. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Um, these are just my sort of personal uh, videos on this. I'm trying to do a lot of streams of videos about filmmaking and everything else, but doing different threads. Um, and episodic things so anyway I don't want to waffle thanks for watching this video hope everybody's having a great week and um, catch you later cheers